So here we go, we're gonna work once again with a rectangle class. That means we should import it, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. That's yaba.util, no, dot awt dot uh, rectangle, and there you go. And then we're gonna erase this part over here, and uh, we're gonna start writing a new rectangle. We're creating a new rectangle object. Uh huh. That is gonna be called square. And I'm gonna make it like rectangle. Sorry, I forgot the new operator. Rectangle. And I'm gonna place it at 100, comma 100 because I was asked to. And it should be have a size of 50 for each side. Okay. So. There we are, that's what we were asked. And uh, I'm just gonna print this thing. System.out.println, I'm gonna write square. Okay, so this thing is gonna print the square uh, with all its properties, and there we go. Okay, we're at 100, 100, and it has a side of 50. And that was exactly what I was asked for. And uh, okay, we first should move, should grow it, okay? So, if you look uh, at the API, API uh, manual, you're going to see that uh, the grow method makes uh, our uh, box or rectangle grow in both axes, on the x and then the y axis uniformly. So, that is uh, it's going to grow on the both sides. So, I need to make it grow not just like 25 because it's going to grow 25 on the left. And 25 on the right, so 25 plus 25, that's 50, plus the 50 that it had on each side, and it's going to be 100, okay? So each side is going to be as double as big as it was originally. So, how to do this? All these things I'm preaching, that is just making a square that grow. I'm going to write 25, uh, 25, and uh, once again, I'm a very lazy person, so I'm just going to copy this thing once again. And let's see what this thing makes. Um, let me just compile it. And there we go. Okay, so uh, the first line that is printed here is the, the thing that I just declared, my new object, the thing we already knew that it would work. The second line is the thing that happened when it grew. Okay, so it's a hundred comma uh, hundred at size. Okay, that did work, but it did move also, and I don't like this. This thing over here, I don't like. I need to re, uh, well, resize, well, relocate it such that uh, I click it at its original point, and that is 100, 100. So I need to use a, a method that I have already used before, and that's the translate. Okay, so I'm gonna write square that translate. I need the differential length, so if it is in 75, I should just like add it 25, so it's just once again in 100. The same thing for y's. And uh, I'm gonna print it once again and see if that really worked. And uh, let me compile it. And there you go. Okay, it's at 100, 100 from location. And uh, the width and the height is 100 on both sides. And I just did what I was asked for. Okay, so the, this may be like a little bit confusing because we're just the first time that we just like used different method on just one object. Let's just like check it. Um, this video like uh, the times you need it and uh, please be careful and uh, if you don't understand anything I did I encourage you to check the API for anything that you make help you the information there is quite detailed and it can help you understand things okay see ya